Welcome back to the Washington State Dynasty and welcome to the final regular season game of season 5 of this dynasty. Today we have a rivalry as it is the Apple Cup in Spokane, Washington as Washington State and Washington will be playing today. This is a tale of two stories of these teams. Washington State has had a very good year, now number 6 in the polls, while Washington has really struggled 3-8 and eight coming into today's game. Carter Samuels is hit as he almost throws, and now outside, and Horn can't come away with it. Nearly a sack, and nearly an interception, so third down and 10. Here's Fields on the screen pass to the outside, and it's the senior Greg Hoyd coming in away with the tackle. So now it's Avery Burgess, and the Washington State Cougars have a chance to play in the Pac-12 championship. They need a win today and an Oregon loss against Oregon State, and they will be playing in the Pac-12 championship. But only thing we can really worry about right now is winning today's game. Now it's Tony Gaines on the run. He breaks one tackle and is down after a gain of eight on the read option. Second down and two. Dave Robinson in the backfield. Burgess will try and bounce it to the outside. He's been very productive these last few weeks as we really relied on our ground game and it's been very effective. First down and ten for Gaines. Down the middle of the field and it's intercepted by Lewis. Our first turnover on the day. And Tony Gaines has struggled in these last few weeks with his interceptions. And that's really the reason that we relied on our run game so heavily. A seven yard run now from the I formation. They'll go play action throw to the outside. And a perfectly thrown ball to Tim Martinez. And that's a 20 yard pickup. Offset eye. Give goes to field up the middle. And he is just short of the first down line. As we're about halfway through this first quarter. Sticking with I formation. They'll go play action once more. As Carter Samuels moves in the pocket, fires, and he's got Blakely. He's past the 35, brought down after another 20-yard gain. They'll go twin tight end under center. Here's the backup, Meade. He has the carry for around five yards, so second down and five upcoming. No stick with the same formation. Now throw along the sideline, and Robertson with an amazing catch somehow got a foot down. Washington putting together a very good drive now throw outside for Robertson once again He's inside of the 10 now inside of the 5 brought down by Suleiman Hamid at around the 3 yard line Here's Carter Samuels throws to the end zone and he can't connect with his receiver Marcel's Pippins was in on coverage They'll go I formation 22 personnel and Fields can't get it He goes down so they will be forced to settle for a field goal a great red zone and goal line stand for our defense Here's Tony Gaines trying to get outside, and the defender is in a spy and plays him very well. So we'll go quads to the right on third down and 13. Going down the field, and it's nearly intercepted once again. A one for four start for Tony Gaines, and it's a three and out, so we give them the ball back. And now a three and out for Washington as they'll be forced to punt the ball back to us. Second down and eight, the give goes to Burgess. A pulling guard as he's got around four yards, so third down and medium. A four wide set as we'll spread them out. Tony Gaines goes down. He's sacked for a loss of seven. We've also really struggled in these last few weeks of keeping him upright. And we have got to do a good job of that today if we want to be very successful. Now Carter Samuels has already thrown the ball 14 times in the first quarter. And there's a three and out. A throw across the middle for Robert Lundy. He's inside of Washington territory. A first down. A four wide set will go screen pass to the outside for Calvin Green. He breaks a tackle, cuts up field. He's past the 40, a gain of seven. A split shotgun look will run the triple option. The pitch outside to Corey Washington makes a man miss and just barely gets that first down. Sticking with a four wide set will go down the field for Tony Gaines and it's intercepted once again by Fontenot this time. Already his second interception, trying to take another shot downfield. And once again, we have a turnover inside of Husky territory. Here's a run for Kyle Fields. He's got eight yards, so second down and two. Carter Samuels will throw to the outside, and it's intercepted by Pippins. He gets the block from Clark, and he will dive into the end zone. And after two poor offensive drives, we somehow have the lead. It's 7-3. They set up a screen pass. Here's Horn into the open field. Great blocks downfield, and he's finally brought down after a gain of 17. Four wide set now for Washington from the shotgun. As it's fields up the middle, he has a lot of room to run, and another 17-yard gain. 
Going up tempo, Washington will go to the air this time and barely getting the throw away. It's intercepted and he got a foot in bounds. So our offense has the ball once again. It would be reviewed and the play would stand as here's Tony Gaines trying to stretch it to the outside and barely picks up the first down. From the shotgun trips to the right. Here's Avery Burgess who will cut up field and he has the first down, a gain of 11. Third down and 10. Here's Tony Gaines. He's going to the air and he will go down a loss of six or seven, a sack. And now Washington will take back over. We've not been able to take advantage of that turnover. And now it's Blakely for an 11 yard catch. So second down and nine, 140 left in this first half. Carter Samuels, he's intercepted by Daryl King. A huge play. What a play by Daryl King. He's also been a guy who's really stepped up his play since being moved into the starting third safety. Now it's Wiley who's got 12 yards, and we are inside of field goal range. Third down and nine. Tony Gaines will go to the air trying to scramble to the outside, and he will go down a loss. And I accidentally had clock running on, so we do not get the field goal, so we will end up going to halftime 7-3. to three. A poor mistake to not add any more points near the end of that half, but our offense does have the ball to start this second half, a four-yard gain for Avery Burgess, and an early third down. Split back set for Tony Gaines. He goes down the middle, and Robert Lundy somehow comes away with it. A huge catch. Setting up a screen pass, here's Richie Wiley. He's into the open field, makes a cut, and he has a first down, a gain of 11. Corey Washington is motioned out of the backfield. As we will go across the middle, it's Wiley once again. He's past the 35 to the 33, and it's second down and five. Avery Burgess straight up the middle. He is stopped in his tracks. Few players can really keep up with his power, but that linebacker surely did. We're halfway through the third quarter. Here's Burgess, and he has another first down. He's really starting to pick it up on this drive, playing very well once again today. Now it's Corey Washington who gets the carry. He spins and he's just shy of the goal line. So second down and goal. Here's the give to Burgess and he's in a one yard touchdown as we end this drive with a ground and pound style. And a look at an update. USC right now is up by four over UCLA with a win today. USC puts itself in great position to make a national championship berth. Two and a half to go in the third quarter. As Blakely breaks a tackle, but he is lit up after a gain of one. So third down and seven. They'll go draw a play, and Fields picks it up, still fighting for it, and falls to the 41-yard line. It's third down and ten, trying another screen pass. Here's Meade. He's in the open field, and he's brought down by Marcel Stewart after he gets into Washington State territory. Carter Samuels to the outside for Allen. And Allen has it to the 35, a gain of 9, so 3rd and short. A read option on 3rd down and 1, and Carter Samuel stiff arms the defender and gets the first down. Still going no huddle, as here's a give to Fields on the draw once again, and that one will go for 7 yards, under a minute left in the 3rd quarter. Carter Samuels rolls in the pocket to his right, down the sideline, and Robertson has it along the sideline, and it's now basically goal to go. A great block, and Meade has it inside of the 10 to around the 6-yard line. From the 7, here's Carter Samuels. Bailey gets the throw away, and it's to Brown, and he's stopped, and he will not get into the end zone or pick up a first down. So into the fourth quarter, it's fourth down and 10. Throw to the outside for Blakely, and it's Joey Clark with a huge play, a turnover on downs. Now we have a chance to just extend this lead and run some clock is a gain of four, and it's third down and three. Running the read option, here's Avery Burgess trying to get outside, and he just barely picks up the first down, so our drive will stay alive. First down and ten, throw across the middle, it's Robert Lundy, and Lundy has a pass the 25 to the 28. First down and 10 will stick with the spread look. And Gaines goes down once again. A loss of six this time. And it's third down and 16. Setting up a screen. Here's Avery Burgess gets a block past the 30. Bounces off a tackler. He's shy of the 35 and will not pick up the first down. But with just over three minutes left and a two score lead. I feel like our defense can put this game away with a stop on this drive. Now it's Carter Samus who will scramble. 
So third down and four. We bring the blitz across the middle and it's Horn. He's brought down but has the first down. So the drive will stay alive. Carter Samuels drops back. It's a deep drop. Goes to the outside. And he's got Martinez this time. As it was Marcel's Pippins and Suleiman Hamid who was beaten coverage. Samuels with a short drop, and it's knocked away by Lawrence Johnson, the 6'3", redshirt freshman cornerback. So third down and 10. Here's a screen pass, and Jimmy Benson, he stepped up his play these last few weeks. A lot of our players have, and that's been a reason for our continued success. Now Carter Samuels is sacked on fourth down, and we will be able to just run more clock. Up by 11 points, so a two-score game. And Gaines almost broke that one all the way. One man to beat, but he was brought down. A four-wide set. Now it's Avery Burgess, and he's lit up only 69 yards on the day, averaging just under four yards per carry. Third down and four. Tony Gaines dumps it off, and Calvin Green has the first down. So a split-back set on second down and seven. Give outside to Burgess, and he's inside of the five, and touchdown Avery Burgess, his second on the day, and it's now a three-score lead with 45 seconds left. Carter Samuels on second down and 10, down the field for Robertson, he has it nearing midfield, a 23-yard pickup. Third down and 10, under 10 seconds left, Carter Samuels to the end zone, and it's Robertson who has it. And that is a touchdown, but a little bit too late as it's an 11-point game after the field goal. And we will win the Apple Cup. A great game today. Our offense didn't do a whole lot, but our defense played very well. And our offense did just enough to get today's victory. Tony Gaines played pretty well, did have his two interceptions. But those were early on in the game, and we were able to bounce back from those. And really did not affect us too much, only giving up basically three points in this game as the touchdown came with two seconds left, which doesn't really count. Avery Burgess with another very good game. Only 18 passes and 118 yards for Tony Gaines. We've really seen a decreased role from him in these last few weeks. Something very surprising after the way he started this year. And we'll hopefully look to see him playing much better next year. As we will find out our fate for the rest of this year after we go through the rest of the stats from today's game. Three interceptions for our defense. That's something they've also done a very good job of lately. A lot of things are just coming together, and it's allowing us to really make this run now up to number four in the nation. But Oregon does beat Oregon State, so we will not be playing in the Pac-12 championship game. But something to think about is we are now number three in the country. If you could have USC and Miami lose, Georgia or Ole Miss, I would assume would jump us with either of them winning. We have a chance to make the national championship game. As far-fetched as that sounds with three losses and some of those losses the way they played out, we are very much in the mix of things, but we would go ahead and sim forward, and we ended up finishing number three. The national championship is Ole Miss and Miami. Miami was victorious, and Ole Miss did jump us in the rankings. So we will be playing in the Sugar Bowl. The Rose Bowl berth goes to Oregon as they won the Pac-12 championship, but we have a rematch against BYU. Like I said, this is the national championship game right here, some of the other Rolls Bowl and other BCS Bowls, but a rematch with BYU. We played them very well in Mile High Stadium, and we now have another neutral site game, this time in New Orleans, an Eastern Coast-ish matchup in the Gulf Coast at least for two Western Coast teams. So that's a little interesting to see how that will play out. And look at some new commitments. Ben Robinson, a 6'7 athlete, who I see fitting in as a receiver. Marcus Baker, a good athlete, not the biggest. And I see him sort of moving into a linebacker role, an athletic linebacker who can do a lot, sort of a hybrid sort of guy. Now Josh Verwerda, one of the best defensive tackles. Mac Marquardt, I believe is how you would say that. One of the best wide receivers, a five-star, very tall, can go up and get the ball. Looks to be very talented. And the number two overall kicker, Marcus Washington. Very nice kick power. Not the most accurate, but will redshirt a year behind Victor McGill. So that will be, he can just develop. Right now, though, we have the number one overall class with three more guys that we're really trying to get. So I feel solid about us maybe retaining this. We already have two five stars, a bunch of four stars, and a good bit of three stars. We have to sign a lot of players because we have 18 seniors on this team. But I hope you did enjoy today's episode. A great win against our rival Washington. If you did, please have a like down below. Leave your comments on the game down below on how our recruiting class is continuing to shape up. Our matchup with BYU. How close we were to the national championship. Just anything you really have thoughts about on this series. 
Let me know down in the comments down below. I will see you for the Sugar Bowl and a Deja Vu rematch against BYU. The number three Washington State Cougars making their second BCS Bowl appearance and highest ranking ever. I will see you for the Sugar Bowl because I'm out.